Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to chapter 8.4.4, path number 2, deadly precision and hard knock life. 4.4, path number 2, deadly precision and hard knock life. The defenders are going to be Human Torch, Dr. Voodoo, Abomination, Venom, Tigra and Immortal Abomination. The nodes are deadly precision so the defender has a 90% to evade all of your attacks unless you have a precision on yourself. Also whenever you will gain a cruelty you will also gain a precision buff. Hard knock life every time you will parry the opponent you will get a 20% ability accuracy and block efficiency reduction for 15 seconds. Critical interruption, so whenever you will perform an intercept, you will gain a precision passive giving you crit guaranteed critical hits for 7 seconds and the defenders are going to be more aggressive. Now you are going to need relics, not only for the path, they are not really required but you will need it for the boss, I would say it's important to have the relics equipped. The boost and masteries are going to be the simple one, now ideally you should go with anti evade, precision or slow champs. That can work really well, but bear in mind there is going to be two poison champions that you need to bring a counters for. There is going to be Abomination and import Immortal Abomination. So champions like Iceman will work really well, champions like Toad will work, Champ uh, champions like She-Hulk will work. So make sure you have those champions with you. Now, if you don't have any of these champions, the easiest cheese is a synergy. It can be Heimdall with Angela, or it can be Heimdall with Magic as well. Heimdall with Angela gives you a permanent uh, cruelty and Heimdall with magic gives you permanent precision. So keep a lookout on that. The boss island is going to be a spot, more on it later in the video. So let's jump into the path and check it out. The first fight is going to be against a human torch. I'm going to use a venom here. Because I can get a cruelty or a precision at the beginning and I don't have to worry about the evades. If you don't get any of those buffs, you can always use a parry and heavy and the buffs will change. And unless you get the precision or cruelty on you, you can keep changing it. And eventually you will get them on you so you don't have to worry about uh, the evade. And then one intercept will give you guaranteed crits with the precision and you are good to go to take a touch down. Now there are plenty of anti weight champions that you can use and given them on the right side but avoid using any kind of champions that are anti weight and do energy damage because the smolder will build up. Or you can always use Iceman, he will work but try not using like Elsa Bloodstone or Kate Bishop, they are not going to work for this fight. So be careful about that. Next up is going to be a Dr. Voodoo, pretty straightforward fight, he's a very easy defender to deal with. I'm gonna use a Kate Bishop here and slowly gonna build up my guaranteed hits and uh, if I do not get a precision I usually will go with a parry and heavy into a striker into a heavy and once I have my first SP1 I can get that cold snap in, once the cold snap is locked in it's an easy peasy fight with all of that or damage over time, real easy takedown. Dr. Voodoo, both specials are easily evadable and very easily spaced so yeah just uh, a quick defender takedown not really difficult the whole point of this path is getting your precision and cruelty up and once you have that anti weight you're good to go again if you don't have any good champion bring Heimdall's energy with either magic or either uh, um, Angela that should work out for you with Angela you will get a uh, cruelty and with magic you'll get a precision Next up is going to be Abomination. Now he is, there are plenty of things to worry about here. There's the evade that you have to worry about and there's also poison that you need to worry about. Now I'm going to use a She-Hulk. She is like kind of the perfect counter for him. There is slow as well and there's also poison immunity. But with this one you have to make sure that you keep up the slow all the time and you drop an intercept every now and then otherwise he's going to evade like mad. That is going to be 90%. Now some other cool champions that can use are going to be Toad, Ghost works really well, you can convert the poisons into furies, you can also use Iceman and for a nice synergy you can also go Scorpion and with Toad synergy that could work, 
You can also get Poison Immunity on Hawkeye with Black Widow Deadly Origin or Black uh, Black Widow OG, even uh, Jessica Jones. But I think most people have Black Widow Deadly Origin ranked them, so she works really well. So yeah, you can use all of these champions to get through this fight. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Both specials can be easily evaded, and just like that, you're able to take Abomination down. Next up is going to be a Venom. Now, this is a very beefy and tanky Venom. I'm going to use Elsa Bloodstone just because I love using her. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my medium medium to apply that cold snap. Once the cold snap is up, the evade is going to fail. And also, whenever I'm going to parry and uh, there's going to be an assistant intercept, that is also going to give me guaranteed hits with the precision. So that all works out really well. If nothing else works, you can always go for a, a dexterity that also gives you precision. That at least for one to two hits, you, the opponent is not going to evade. So just here, look at that. That's the evade guaranteed hits. Now I have uh, uh, from critical interruption, I have all the criticals and I can do that damage. Now Venom does have a lot of buffs and he can be really annoying, especially if you get touched even once. So be careful about that. Make sure that your precisions are up. Make sure that your cold snaps are there so he does not evade. Keep him to an SP1. If he does go to an SP2, try to block the first in instance and the other ones you can just evade them. But then again, it's not really a difficult fight. In hindsight, this was a much longer fight for me. It would have been better if I brought in my more ranked up champions that are either ascended or ranked 2. It would have been a much faster fight. But hey. Uh, I was able to take Venom down with Elsa Bloodstone. Next up is going to be a Tigra. Again, there are different options you can use. I am going to use a Kate Bishop here again because she gives me an easy intercept uh, with her evade and also uh, with the cold snap, uh, pretty much like uh, Elsa Bloodstone, another version of her. Uh, but she is ascended and she has a lot of damage with that cold snap, so kind of works out for me. Uh, really simple fight. If you play Tigra, you understand the spacing on the specials, so it doesn't feel difficult to evade the specials and deal that damage. I am using a synergy of Kate Bishop with uh, America Chavez, so I am able to apply more three of those cold snaps. And with those uh, perfect shots, I am able to get more damage in, and just like that, very quickly, Tigra is dead. And last but not least is going to be an Immortal Abomination. I, I am going to use my trusty rank for She-Hulk. In hindsight, I could have brought a uh, Ghost as well and get those uh, poisons to be turned into Furies with a faster fight. But not the best Ghost player. Uh, and I like She-Hulk more. She gets more control on the fight and you're able to run through the fight much more easier. Uh, it doesn't matter if you let Abomination throw an SP2 or SP1, both are okay to deal with. With SP2, you will have to block more. With SP1, you can fully evade and avoid that chip damage. But anyway, you're not going to be using She-Hulk for the boss. So if you take some ch chip damage, it's okay. Try to build up your Furies and uh, keep them up so that will help you finish off the fight faster and yeah that's about it guys pretty simple and straightforward fight just a little more 
tankiness from immortal abomination eventually you will bring him down and yeah make sure to check out all the options that you can use and again guys before i end the path and go into the boss if you don't have any good anti evade champion if you don't have any kind of good uh, precision champion all you need to do is to bring in heimdall with either a synergy of uh, angela or you have to bring in a synergy with uh, magic when the fight starts with any champion just dash back and hold your block and you will get a precision or you will get a cruelty depending which synergy you brought in and that should be enough to stop them from evading for the whole fight and you are able to get the defenders down quite easily The boss is going to be a spot and with some really fun notes the first one is insult to injury so every debuff you have it will reduce your ability accuracy by 30 percent and with blood and water while you have a debuff on you the defender will have 150 percent fury and when the champion whenever the champion will receive a debuff they're immune to they generate 33 percent bar of power and finally spot is immune to poison and also the most important one is ride roughshod the defender that is going to be spot will gain an 8 second leave of immunity passive whenever they will activate a special attack. But if you activate a striker that transfers a leave of immunity from the defender to the attacker for 12 seconds. So you have to have your striker ready for this fight and you can use it to your advantage. Now this is a very regular spot fight but you have to be comfortable understanding his specials and also his untouchable. It, Took me two or three tries, but I will have to wait out the untouchable before I go in. Now with Kate Bishop, the biggest mistake I did, I did not use heavy enough because the tracking is there that can avoid the miss. But during the heat of battle, I forgot that. So if you use heavy and use the tracking, that can help you against uh, miss, I believe. And uh, I am using here a synergy with America Chavez, so I can apply a lot of those cold stabs. That is three of them, one extra one, and that helps out too. So, if you're not comfortable throwing a heavy attack and getting the tracking up, just uh, slowly apply those cold snaps, wait out the untouchable, and then you can kill him. Passives are going to be much better for this fight, but there are plenty of options I've given you on the side. They can be used. Just use a striker when spot uses a special, and you should be good with the debuff immunity. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with 8.4.4 last part soon. And thank you for checking it out. Bye.